Oh, hey up everybody, there you are. I uh, couldn't wait, started already. <coughs> Guess what we're doing? Michael, you were absolutely right, you were spot on. How I miss that, I'll never know. It's obviously numptiness on a biblical scale. So I missed it completely, but it must have only just gone because only now have we got the unpatented uh, grease on the inside of the wheel non-rusting idea. <coughs> we'll come back to that, it's down there. <coughs> so everything's nice and nice and greased, it's all lovely. Grease is the word, it's all over the place. So I'm going to change this boot. Started already, wheel off, got my nuts loose, tap that drive shaft through and we're going to pop this lower knuckle off, get the drive shaft out, change the boot, jobs are good and go get some warm tea. That's the plan. Well it all went wrong yesterday so let's have a look about see how it's going to go today. Right let's get stuck in. Right. Just wipe the grease off the uh, the ball joint nut. Now it, it just some has come from the joint as well, but I, I always blather them after I've done the job in the hopeless attempt to try and keep rust at bay. Those nuts tighten here. Can't get my nuts off. There's a dry shaft in the way. Okay, that's intelligent. Okay, plan B, <laughs> right, I've got this proper tool for undoing that, but can't get the nut off to get the proper tool on, so we're going to have to carry full chip. We've done it by hitting the lower arm. There we go. In the end, same job has been achieved. I really wish I could stop it in my fingers. What an idiot. Right, clips are off. I don't know if they're original or not, but it's quite simply a case of clicking there. Might even be able to use them again. 
Well, seeing as we've got some new ones, which come in the kit. There we go, look. That's marvellous. I really do like to see lots of grease around my balls. Alright. Come to the YouTube video I watched, there's somewhere in there there's a circlip. Which you have to open up and hit it. Okay. Oh, right, oh, okay. I believe it's there, look. So, if I... I'm going to have to put you down again. I'm going to open that clip up there. Uh, then give it a hit and probably it pops off. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to try again, it's been for a cup of tea, it's starting to wind me up. So, expand the clip and tap off. That's all it says. <sighs> Alright, got it. It's about been an hour with these. Went to look for them, straight off. Wasn't expanding the clip far enough. Anyway, there it is, that's it. The little clips inside there. I've got to clean all that out. Um, here comes the old one. There goes the old one. Dump. New one on. Like so. Right, that's a bit easy to see. That's the clip you have to expand and then it just pops straight off. Bloody marvellous. The other clip. Got some more grease and we'll squeeze some of that in. That's it. That's all there is to it. That's in. Send it forward.
No, you could be joking. Right. I got the once you squeeze these clips, they're not much good, so I popped a tire wrap on. Thank God for tire wraps. Didn't even bend my screwdriver. It's about 52 pounds, is it? I'm like a Land Rover, I always mark my territory. Pop the wheel back on and tighten this middle nut up. Take it to 75 and back it off. So, second, take it to 15. About there. 80 degrees plus or minus 5. Should be about there, and hopefully, the hole for the pin should be in line with the space I'm at. Needs to go a little bit more. That's a Sucked. So, wheel back on, uh, put everything away, tidy up, get washed, get another shower, uh, cup of tea, and, oh, and some toast. Toast would be great, wouldn't it? Marmalade on. Okay, that's today's fun episode. So, sorry about the dripping nose, it's just not very warm. 
Uh, well, at least we got it done before Storm Kira got here. So, so I tell you what, next time I do the other side, when I do the uh, track control arm, I'm going to change that joint, that uh, rubber boot as well. Well, it's all in bits. Because this, the old one's quite stiff and unyielding. It's quite, yeah. So you can see where it's gone. This is obviously perished. Man, I haven't perished now, it's chuffing freezing. So, alright, wheel back on. Uh, okay then, so thanks for joining me. Um, yes, everything's good. Grand Rover still in bits. Um, Fusion's testing the uh, the third turbo. I hope this one's alright. If not, there's a possibility I might have to take it to a garage. Yeah, well, might as well. I was spent with um, with tap. Right. Okay. That's it. I'll see you in a bit.